give a quick overview of some of the exercise we do in space. Um, other than sleeping, exercise is probably the item we spend the most time on up here. We do about two hours and 15 minutes of exercise every day, about an hour and 15 of lifting weights, or resist we call it resistance exercise, and then the other hour is cardio. So how would you lift weights in space when everything's weightless? The engineers at NASA came up with a really cool solution. So this machine is called ARED, which stands for our Advanced Resistive Exercise Device. And the fundamental operating principle uses a pair of vacuum cylinders. So up here, we have these two large cylinders, and inside these cylinders is a vacuum. So pulling open a cylinder under vacuum creates a lot of force. So on these two arms here, when you pull down on those arms, that creates a lot of force. These are pulling upward. And this whole machine is built around these two pivots right here. So as these arms pull up right here, around the pivot, the rest of the device, including this arm and the bar that I lift on, are pulled downward. That pulls up, this comes down. By changing the location of these arms relative to this pivot point, which I do through this crank, I can dial in different weights and change the distance at which those vacuum cylinders pull, change their lever arm. And so through that, we're able to vary the resistance that we feel on the arm. So this machine allows us to do a wide range of different exercises. Today, I've started off with uh, several sets of single leg squats. We have a team on the ground of what we call ACERs. Those are our astronaut strength, conditioning, and uh, rehabilitation folks. And our ACERs prescribe individually for us a set of exercises that uh, gets us ready, kind of maintains hopefully our muscle mass and bone density up here, and gets us ready, in my case, uh, to come back. In a few weeks, I'll be returning to Earth, so I want to be as strong as I can be for that. So I'm actually on my last set here of uh, single leg squats. So the way this works, I need to update the computer for the last set, and then just get in the ready position. So normally, I'm completely weightless. There's really no way to feel weights or feel like I'm standing with any force on the ground. But on A-RED, I come in under the uh, bar, and I lift it up off the stops. So now I'm holding the weight, and it feels a lot like lifting weights, squatting on earth. I feel forced through my feet. I feel the weight of the bar on my shoulders. And now I can get into my reps. In this case, I'm doing 10 reps each leg. So I'm gonna switch here at 10 reps. Do another 10. forward and that allows the weight to rack and I'm back to being weightless. The other final cool thing I'll show, this whole machine, obviously we do a lot of motion on ARED and so the entire device is isolated from the structure around it through a set of springs and dampers. So you can see I can just move ARED around here and through three different axes uh, well, I should say two axes of translation, so up, down, and in, out, it's isolated. And then it also has a final uh, axis of rotation. It can pitch here. So three axes of isolation, and there's dampers in there, so it'll slowly return to center over time. And that just allows us to create motions here without imparting them into the structure of the space station. See it. <laughs>